Hi, I'm Melinda Haynes, license number 102308. You can find more information about me in my disclosure video. Now, why do therapists diagnose people? Like, why can't we just walk into their office and vent or talk about what happened in the, in the previous week? So first of all, I wanna tell you that, you know, I don't know a lot of therapists who actually like diagnosing people. It's just something that we have to do. And I wanna tell you why, so that you can kind of have a better understanding of it and you don't just feel like you're labeled with something just because somebody had to write something down on a piece of paper. Now, first of all, we have to get a clear picture about what we're doing. So when we have a diagnosis, we kind of get this, this image of, okay, these are the symptoms we're working with and these are kind of the evidence-based treatments that go along with treating this particular diagnosis. So we have a better understanding as professionals so that we can offer better treatment to our client. Also, we need to have some kind of a shorthand language in order to collaborate with other professionals. So if I'm the therapist and I'm working with you as a client, and then I have to call your doctor, I'm not gonna sit here and list, you know, the seven different symptoms you have, and then, you know, talk to your doctor about it. I'm gonna just say, oh, it's this diagnosis, or your doctor's gonna tell me, oh, it's this diagnosis. And so that way we can communicate and create a better treatment approach that's gonna help you reach your goals faster. Another reason is that when we create our treatment plans, we need to have something very concise. So if you are presenting with depression, let's say, I'm not going to create a treatment plan with you that is about treating something totally different. So what we need to do is work on, you know, does the diagnosis match the treatment plan? Does the treatment plan match the goals? And did each session match the goals related in the treatment plan? Another reason is billing. So when we bill insurance, we have to have a reason, right? So it's just like if you go to your doctor and you say, oh, my knee hurts, I need an x-ray. And your doctor's like, oh, well, let's check out your, your ear or your stomach or let's perform heart surgery. That doesn't match, that doesn't go. So we have to follow kind of the same rules as far as billing is concerned and treatment is concerned as far as, you know, when we present with something, when we treat something, it all is congruent, it matches, it makes sense. So that makes everybody happy. The treatment's more effective. There's no, um, you know, potential for insurance fraud or anything like that, any of those other legal concerns that we might have. So if you have any questions about your diagnosis, you can ask your therapist. You know, just talk to them, say, hey, like, what did you diagnose me with? Or why did you diagnose me with this thing? And talk about it and just find out, like, well, what is this thing about and why? And is this, you know, something that I can work through? And how would you know when I would stop being diagnosed with this? Is there a way that you could, you know, make me undiagnosed, basically? So have a conversation about it. Um, one thing I do want to suggest, though, is that if you've been diagnosed with something, let's say it's, you know, depression or anxiety or bipolar disorder or whatever, don't just you know panic and like search all the worst case scenarios on the internet and be like, oh no, this is me and I have this label and now I go by this label instead of by my first name. It's, it's not like that. It's, it's just mostly to get a clear picture, it's to get shorthand language, it's to create a treatment plan, it's to do proper billing, it's, it's those kinds of things. It's not to give you a label, it's not to change your identity. Okay, so if you have any more questions, please, Contact me and I appreciate you. Thank you for watching.